Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you again. Bitwig Studio Samplers Course. Or Sampler. Samplers. Yeah. Anyhow, we uh, took a good look at Repitch in the previous tutorial. And in this tutorial, let's take a look at the next mode for the sampler, which is Cycles. And you can see here on the description that it uses uh, cycles of the source as a wavetable. So essentially it's taking tiny little pieces of the source sample and morphing them or creating little wavetables out of them. So let's select it. And now instantly uh, the difference noticeable is with repitch, we had speed control, of course, and now we have an additional control called formant. So I'm going to use my Ableton push and we still have key tracking enabled to go ahead and play the same sample. Let's move this guy forward a little bit. No particular reason other than I just be closer to the source. And now you can see no matter where I'm at on my key track, if I play high or low, it's going to play according to that. So let's go ahead and open this guy up so we can see a little bit better what's going to be happening here. And I'll zoom in. All right. So we again, we've studied our speed control. And now, if you listen to, I'm going to slow the speed down. And then we'll change the format. And I don't know if you're hearing it, but you can hear tiny little wavetables being formed within this sample. Let's take a listen to it with key tracking disabled. So with the key tracking off, you can hear a lot more detail in the way that those wavetables are being formed when you're manipulating the formant. So yeah, quite a lot of fun and quite a lot of ways to explore uh, sound design within the cycles mode. That's a quick, easy look at cycles. So again, you're just taking little segments of the sample source, little snapshots of it, and you're morphing and creating wavetables out of those samples. That's a quick and easy look at cycles. Let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, tutorial. And we'll take a look at textures.